And what, what solved the problem of world hunger? Well, it was a combination of genetic engineering and fossil fuels. In particular, what you had is oil-powered machinery made agriculture much more productive, so you could have a harvester that could, uh, that could um, reap like the equivalent of 500,000 loaves of bread a day. And at the same time, you had oil-based transportation that, as I mentioned before, could take crops from, you know, that could take crops to areas that are suffering. You also had a lot more farmland that was in circulation because with transportation, you know, someone could grow something one place and transport it 3,000 miles away, even if there wasn't nearly the local uh, demand. And then there was fertilizer produced by natural gas. Now, there's no question at all, leaving aside someone making up that they have a solution to doing this without fossil fuels, we've had 10,000 years of trying to do agriculture without fossil fuels and, or something just as good. And what we had was periodic starvation and famine and suffering over and over and over. And only once we figured out how to create abundant, affordable energy and devote it to producing crops, only then could people live in large numbers and not be uh, afraid of, of starving. So if, if Bill McKibben came here tonight and cited a bunch of studies and said, my conclusion is we should ban 95% of food, you would say that's crazy. But he's saying we should ban 95% of fossil fuels, which is the food of food. Without fossil fuels, we simply billions of people will starve. I think it's really, really irresponsible because you've got, again, these are real, these are real lives. These are people who, if we do the wrong thing, they will die. And ultimately, you know, you will suffer too, but these people will die. And one thing we know is that modern industrial fossil fuel agriculture saves billions of lives. And I, what Bill is saying would take them away.